Hi, my name is Lord Elliott. I'm an IPL referee as well as the Central California and Los Angeles area meet director. Um, I'm also the director of coaches certification. The discussion I'm going to have with you is how much of a deficit are you in in the deadlift based upon the shoes that you're wearing. So a lot of us do program uh, doing deficits with a three quarter inch mat. If you're to measure this, this is going to measure 19 millimeters. Okay. If we're going to measure the Chuck Taylors, which is a shoe that's often worn by lifters, uh, measuring the heel, it's going to measure around 17 millimeters thick. The forefoot of the, of the shoe is going to measure about 10 millimeters thick. Uh, also, if you also look at the shoe, uh, it does rise in the toe area. So if you're trying to root and have a strong connection to the ground, um, you're not going to be able to do that as well with the Chuck Taylors. Uh, Chuck Taylor's because it's higher in the heel and lower in the, in the forefoot, you're also looking at a slight heel raise. Uh, this is not a bad thing. Uh, it's very helpful for those who do struggle with uh, dorsiflexion. Let's move on to the powerlift shoe. This, this shoe is going to be a lot flatter co contact to the ground. You're going to measure the heel at about 10 millimeters and it does have a slight raised heel to forefoot about three millimeter difference. Uh, one really good thing about this shoe is that if you're a sumo puller, uh, your foot is going to be within and over the sole because it wraps around the foot very nice. But this is definitely a lot less uh, thick compared to the Chuck Taylors. Uh, barefoot athletic shoe. Uh, if you were to measure the, the sole of the shoe, uh, you're going to be measuring uh, it to be about six millimeters thick. It's six millimeters thick from the heel all the way to the toe. It's very flat. It wraps around the foot very nice, encasing the foot and securing it to the sole. So this is an excellent shoe. Then we go to the A7 deadlift slipper. I did take the insert out of the deadlift slipper so that you have a lot uh, more, uh, a lot, you're a lot closer to the ground with it. Uh, if you're to measure it, you're measuring four millimeters thick. So you are, based upon all these shoes, you are closest to the ground. And that means you're going to have less distance of pull, which can contribute to PRs. Now, also, when you use this kind of a shoe in the sumo stance, I personally had issues with my foot uh, sliding outside the the, the sole off the sole of the shoe compared to the barefoot athletic shoe and the powerlift Reebok shoe. Uh, one last thing is the rules of the USPA for shoes. It just has to have a sole on the bottom. So it doesn't have to be a specific brand of shoe. It doesn't have to be a specific type of shoe. As long as the shoe does have a sole, you can squat, you can bench in a deadlift slipper because it has a sole. Well, that's our discussion. If you have any questions, please leave comments and ask me. Other than that, we'll see you on the platform.